Patrick Swat. This is AB. Now, today I'm going to start out the video talking about Twin87, right, who just make it to the most wanted list. Right. That's going to be about 10 to 15% of the video. The rest of the video, I'm going to be talking about the whole, you know, Haiti expedition. You see, many things are some kind of, you know, just a passing thought. Never realize it is not just politicians, but actual Jamaicans, right? people from CARICOM who I take this seriously. Never talk about it. We can start off with Central Kingston. Marvin and Mervin. Little and big. Or little and big. You can't make this up. 287. Both of them are wanted for murder at the same time. When JC actually put them up, a number of people messaged me and said, Well, on, that's some kind of type of this. And you know, the Marvin and Mervin is like an old picture. No. Brothers, twins, two of them wanted one time. Two of them Japan wanted Wednesdays. Same time. These 87 twins they come from quote unquote G Lane. And they finally land on the most wanted list. After keeping up them foolishness for a while. Right? Now, when I see something like this, personally, me I wonder uh, which one of them follow which one in a badness. Right. Them say seven brothers, seven different minds. But it look like to that now apply when it comes down to twins because are twins with twin minds. 287. The only way this can be topped you know, is if you have twins and one of them are police and one of 87 and the two of them are trying to hunt each other to kill them that's it that's the only way right, this Marvin and Mervyn thing can be topped because if that happened then Iron Man has been zeroed you know how a game zero right that is going to zero Iron Man two brothers twins want at the same time and he said the only way you top this is if twins one a gunman, one a police. When that happens, we can officially shut down Iron Man. Right, and just start again. You know, like when you shut down one shop, or when you in time SSL try to wind up, we just wind up Iron Man. Right. You know, just, just liquidate Iron Man and start again. We're right. going to need a whole new island if that ever happens. Who knows? It probably has. But Central Kingston, I don't know, dark side genocide, you know, the madness already. The reduction in murders has continued into the new year. Hopefully, it will continue. All right, so these twins, all right, they see if I look for them. So them two brothers, literally them two brothers, right, are a part of the reason as to why you know, Central Kingston is so hot. So the security forces are asking them to turn themselves because I'm sure the KAJ right would absolutely lose their mind if it turns out say. Twin 87s go up and want to list the same time and then twin 87s get take out by police. Right. KAJ will not make that one rest. Work to this will not make that one rest no matter what them do. Right. So maybe see right if the police will on from them soon. So that's Marvin and Mervin. Little and big. We can move on to Haiti. So let me just tell you where I stand from now because it's just proven. That people have a way, right? If you know, they rewrite history and then tell us, you know, say, but me never even do one, and then when things go bad, right? You know, when fairy tales turn disaster, they want to flip flop like our slippers. So, I tell you, I'm going to stand on this one. Because I said, I thought it was some kind of passing thought, you know, you know, people just say things, right? But based on some of the responses, me see, right? I mean, people that message me and I try to uh, present the argument as to why this should happen. I thought to myself, well on, I see this thing this. Many about international effort and CARICOM effort. CARICOM? The idea that a group of CARICOM nations are going to go fight gangs and stop gangs and crush gangs in Haiti is comically sad. No, that's an oxymoron. But that's what happens when morons waste oxygen right, to spread nonsense. 
Let me get this straight. 1400 murder a year, Iron Man. That can crush bed bugs. I will crush G9 and family. G9 and family is one of the biggest gangs in Haiti right now. Right? They formed an alliance. Haitian gangs actually formed alliances. They work together. Right? So, can crush bed bugs totally. But I will crush G9 and family. Trinidad. Remember, it's the CARICOM effort, them say. International effort. We can start with CARICOM. Trinidad. 600 murders last year. In Trinidad, it's like how in Araman, 1000 is the disaster number. In Trinidad, it's 400. Last year, Trinidad had over 600 murders. Worst year for murder in the history of the nation. That Trinidad, I will help work on plans for crush gangs in Haiti. Bahamas. Right. Just, I think it was about 18 or 20 murder shots of them worst year ever last year. And that Bahamas, I will drop up on plan. You go fight. Okay. Belize. I mean, sh should I go on? So, I'm trying hard not to laugh because right? I see this matter. So, them are going to liberate Haitians from gangs and crime when they can't liberate right, them own countries from gangs and crime. No offense, but start out your own gangs first right, and cut the crime. Haitian gangs are stronger than they have ever been right now. If you think they were a problem before, you want to see them now. And the fact that them start form alliances make it even worse. We're talking about the Haiti where so much guns if you go up on a boat and go over there and offer them five units and them pull up the boat and rifle and send you up on your way. That's how much gun them off. Right? You know, see, see some here. Right? When you say I one unit can, we get ten rifles for that. You see the people are more entertaining this nonsense. Right? I'm mean, talking about the citizens them now. These are people who are sitting in air-conditioned cafes in Kingston, Port of Spain, Nassau and them place there. Right, sipping mocha, choca, latte, espresso. Talking about, yeah, they might plan for Haiti and I'm sure it's going to work, really. More like a plan to get humiliated. Right? To get rid of these gangs would mean direct conflict. Right? In other words, it would essentially be a military intervention. Can dress it up to make it sound as nice as you want, but that is what it would be. The the previous you know, mission to Haiti people help with earthquake disaster, right? And hand out this and hand out that. And that is a whole different right, type of ball game to what we needed to fix this matter, right? So, notice even Uncle Sam not rushing into this one head on like they normally do. Who no notice that? Even Uncle Sam is iffy on this one. And you know, say, right, Uncle Sam love play world police. How many more times must the world try and quote unquote help Haiti and just make it worse? Let me tell this. Thing. Let me break this down for you. Haitians are some of the most hardcore people on earth. History has proven this. Let me give you know, some years. 1962, 1973, 1966, 1984. Do you know what they made they signify? 62 is the year Ironman and Trinidad and Tobago got independence. 73 is the year for Bahamas. Barbados, 66. Belize, 1984. Just a list some of the CARICOM countries then. The major countries in the CARICOM that got independence got it after World War II. No, I will give you know, the not so romantic history. Right? Because people, you know, people have a way of romanticizing history and making it sound a waste that you know you stick out your chest and feel, you know, oh, this is so, that sounds so good. Here's what actually happened. After World War II, right, the colonial powers were severely weakened after the war. Like, severely weakened. 
Many of them could barely keep them homeland going, much less the colonies. This weakened state made it easier for certain negotiations, especially concerning independence take place. And many of the former colonies seized on this opportunity right, and started to say, oh, we're going to go our own way. Especially the colonies that were controlled by Britain. You will see, right, it's after World War II, the vast majority got independent. 1960s, 1970s, right? Do you know when Haiti got independent? 1804. See the difference? 1804. The Haitians defeated Napoleon's army in 1803. The first black nation to establish a republic after winning a war against the colonizer. Not negotiating, but winning a war. Straight to the end, and then declared independent nation. Haiti won a war against Napoleon's France. The Emperor Napoleon, a man who is considered by many to be one of the greatest military leaders in history. Haitians marched on to victory, and it did not stop this up after winning the war. They then went around and looked for every French village or and Gwinnett they could have found right, and start chop off head. If you don't know about the Haitian Revolution or the series of events with them group under the title Haitian Revolution, I suggest you check it out. Haitians don't play. If you think CARICOM or some international effort is going to land in Port-au-Prince with some AR-15s and scare the Haitian gangs them right, into surrendering and just, you know, just, just stepping aside then you're sniffing unicorns right. you better ask Uncle Sam what the last time right, them underestimate a group of well-armed locals ask Uncle Sam what happened in Mogadishu if this turn into a case of sending boots on the ground in Haiti Haitian gangs and their supporters, which they must have, don't buy into the hype. So this is just a case of, you know, that's like saying clansmen nana support, or saying screamers nana support at that town, or saying you know young generation or presidential clique nana support. That's nonsense. Of course they have support. In order to quote unquote liberate Haiti from these gangs, you would need to take ground. And then hold it because the gangs actually control entire areas of the country you have to take the ground from the gang name and then hold it now taking it is usually the easier part holding it is the extremely bloody part when they factor in say they don't wear uniforms and they're not bound by any human rights conventions that make things 10 times harder Plus, this is going to be playing out in Haiti, right, on the streets of Port-au-Prince, right? not Kingston. No, I understand better than most, right, that sacrifices have to be made sometime. But let me tell you this. As far as I'm concerned, if Jamaican soldiers must die, they should die for Jamaica. Right? Let the Yankee them go play rural police. They have the troops and the money for spear. We don't have a single JD soldier to spirit. We need them in Ironman to deal with our own problems. We are sitting on top of the murder rate charts. Right? Go for fine soldier and police to go send for Haiti for help the nun. You see, people watch Black Heart down on Rambo and think say, no, this is some kind of joke. It's because the movies are so romantic, you know, the hero who saved the day and the good versus the bad and the Cut the crap. When this get ugly, the same people right, who are pushing for this nonsense, entertaining this nonsense, are going to flip flop like a slippers. Right. Food, water, medical supplies, sure. If we can help out in them ways, eh, sure. But clashing with Haitian gunmen right, and Haitian soil, that right there, so, is a unicorn too far. Be very careful of people in suit and tie. Making decisions to send 
or troops right, on some feel-good crusade while them sit down in an AC. This is not our fight. If the Haitians can gather the willpower and the strength to defeat Napoleon's army, they can figure out Haitian camps. All you crusaders who want to help Haiti, here's how you help Haiti. Since in the claim say people have planned, they have planned, they have planned, plan and they can. You book a ticket uh, and go port of uh, Go fight. Airport them still open. Better yet, send your sons and daughters with this plan only claim to them up. The plan where them all come up with, uh, you uh, and your epic name, uh, volunteer to go fight. Uh, volunteer to go help the Haitians. What's the matter? There's a plan, right? Since there's a plan, go execute it. And if this plan is not originating from CARICOM, let's say for example it originated from Uncle Sam or Europeans, then somebody need to tell me when did CARICOM right, become right, another wing right, of Uncle Sam or Europeans because that's another thing people tell me say, well, members say a, a foreigner go work on the plan right, and then they would just send also JDF work for Uncle Sam now the, the TT Defense Force work for the friend, who, who, who is coming up with this plan? You people think Haitians are some kind of jokers because when you look on TV, I want to see the, the pictures of the, the hungry poor Haitian. Oh, help me, help me. Right. You better ask Napoleon what happened one time Haitians had chip. Right. Ask the French historians what happened right. when they say you have to take the fight. The Haitians and them get really upset. This is not our fight. Big up Haiti, hope them figure it out. But we just make my stance known from now. Jamaican soldiers must die, they must die in defense of Jamaica. There are rare exceptions, as I say, if Haiti was invaded by a foreign force and the Haitian people requested help to fight that foreign force, that's a whole different argument. But Haitian gangs, Local Haitians being attacked by local Haitians and foreigners, because we are foreigners, I go go in Haiti and differentiate between friend and foe. People are sniffing unicorns, crush clansmen, crush one another, crush bed bugs, crush the Anchor Nation, Trinidad and Tobago, crush Funi Young. Man. Then maybe, maybe I'll take you a bit more serious. Maybe that's a, and that's a big maybe. Until then, dance a yard, you dance abroad. Look me for a unicorn. Patreon squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, no life. Ultra squad, see you circling. Bless.